if a man is in a position where he spends a lot of time doing things for his mother and very little time doing things for himself, this might be something that he is aware of. Being this way will allow him to do what he needs to do to gradually change his life. This might have been something that he has been aware of for a number of weeks, months or even years. Irrespective of how long it has been, he might have reached out for support or he might have decided to do everything by himself. But what he could be only too aware of is that it is going to take time for him to completely break away from his mother. He could see that it is very much a case of putting one foot after another and not giving up, no matter what. Having this outlook may stop him from having too many moments when he feels frustrated about his current situation. He will see that what he is going through is just a stage that he is passing through. Conversely, a man in this position might not be aware of the fact that he is out of balance. He is then going to spend a lot of time neglecting himself, but this won't be something that he is aware of. This is not to say that neglecting himself won't cause him to pay a price. It is just that he won't be able to see the signs. Or, if he does see the signs, these could be put down to something else. So, not being there for himself and neglecting himself is naturally going to take its toll on him. What could be normal is for him to feel drained and exhausted, and he could often feel very low. If he was to reach out for support, he could end up paying a visit to his doctor, with this being a time when he is put on medication. This approach might patch him up and allow him to function better but that is as far as it is likely to go. If he is not in a relationship, there is a chance that he won't have anyone in his life that will shed light on what is going on. His friends, if he has any, might not say anything about his behaviour, and they might even believe that he is behaving in the right way. Therefore, if his mother doesn't say anything about what is going on, he is unlikely to change his behaviour. Nonetheless, if he was to get into a relationship, this is likely to change. If he was to meet a woman and ended up in a relationship with her, she could soon see that he is too focused on his mother. After a while, she could speak to him about what is going on, with her hoping that he will soon change. Yet. What she may find is that he denies what she says and makes out that there is nothing wrong with how he is behaving. Consequently, she could struggle to understand why he is unable to face reality. If she was to talk to a friend or a family member about what is going on, she could be told that her assessment is accurate. Who she speaks to could also say that they know or have known a man who is like this. This feedback might stop her from thinking that she is just seeing things. That's if this has crossed her mind, but it won't change what is going on. After this, she could talk to him about what is going on, and the same thing could happen once more, and this could take place on a number of occasions. He will have the eyes to see, but for some reason, he won't be able to see what is right in front of his eyes. What this is likely to show is that if he was to face up to what is going on and change his behaviour, he would end up coming into contact with a lot of pain. As things stand, he won't be consciously aware of this pain, but this pain will still be influencing his behaviour and it will stop him from being able to see clearly. This shows that his brain is having an effect on what he can and can't see to allow him to keep it together and function. And this is why it has been said that we see with our brain, not our eyes. When it comes to what pain is being kept at bay by his brain, 
This is likely to be the pain that he experienced during his early years, and his brain automatically repressed. Throughout this stage of his life, he is likely to have been deprived of the care that he needed to grow and develop in the right way. Due to this, he wouldn't have been able to go through each developmental stage, and thus he will be in a developmentally stunted state. Along with his feelings being repressed, he would have lost touch with his true self and created a disconnected false self. This false self would have been focused on his mother and her needs, and being there for her would have been essential to his survival, as he would have been dependent and totally powerless. Many, many years will have passed since this stage of his life, but he will continue to behave in the same way. He will no longer need to be there for his mother to be able to survive, and he is no longer powerless. But he won't realise this at the core of his being, as a big part of him is frozen in time. Taking this into account, it is clear to see why a man in this position won't be able to face up to what is going on, and will do everything he can to avoid reality. So with this in mind, if you are a man in this position and you often find it hard to face reality to see that you are neglecting yourself, then most likely it's because of the amount of pain that is inside you and facing up to what is going on will cause you to experience a lot of pain. And if you are a woman who is with a man who can't face up to what is going on, then most likely this will be because for him to do this, he would end up coming into contact with a lot of pain. And so in order for him to keep this pain at bay, he will need to avoid reality. And if he is not able to face reality, then it will probably be a waste of time for you to try to get him to face reality. Because there is obviously a reason why he can't face reality, because he is carrying so much pain. And if he is not at the stage of his life when he is ready to change, even if this is only a small part of him, then you could waste many days, many weeks, many months, and many years trying to get through to him. And if this was to take place, not only would he be depriving himself, but you would be depriving yourself trying to get through to him. So if you are a man and you've gradually been able to see that you are out of balance, and you haven't reached out for support already, you may need to reach out for external support. And if you are a woman who is trying to get through to a man who can't face reality, then it will probably be a good idea for you to look into what is causing you to be drawn to a man who can't be there for you. And for you to do this, for you to explore what is taking place at a deeper level, because at a conscious level you could say that you are ready and you could feel ready, but at a deeper level there is likely to be something else going on. If you have been trying to get through a man like this for quite some time, and perhaps have been with other men who are like this. And it might also then be a good idea for you to reach out for external support, to explore what is going on in your unconscious mind. But the main thing is that, no matter what position you are in, you don't suffer in silence and you do what you need to do to gradually change your life. If you would like to find out more about the services that I offer, please go to www.oliverjrcooper.co.uk or email me at info at oliverjrcooper.co.uk and I'm looking forward to assisting you on your journey.